What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're checking out Joshua Tuasova. I'm pretty sure there's not an H. Yeah, there's not an H in his first name, so sorry if I mispronounced that. But he's from Fiji. He's a rugby player. He played for the 2016 Rio Olympics. That team won gold. Fiji did. I actually watched that match today. They played Great Britain. Main reason why I watched it is because I've been doing some research on rugby lately. I reacted to a couple of uh, rugby videos on this channel before. I really enjoyed it. Really liked it. So make sure to check those out. But also been thinking about playing rugby also. My fall semester of college when we were in quarantine, I kind of went out for the team, but just really did it just to do something. Didn't really want to stay committed to it, but I did enjoy it looking back at it. So thinking about maybe going back out for the sport. So that's why I was doing some research on it. I also came across Taron Beckham. He is a former American football player like myself, and he switched to rugby. He's trying to chase some pro rugby dreams. Now I'm not saying I'm going to chase no pro rugby, but you know, it's cool to see him. So I saw him react to this player. Now it's my turn. I'll react to him. Hope you guys enjoy. But yeah, Miss Rugby. Love the sport of it. I, I don't know. It's the closest thing I can do to football. It's the closest thing I can watch to American football. Look at those legs. Dude, yeah, look at that dude. They call him the human bulldozer too. That's his nickname. You can definitely see why. And I know sevens is different for fifteens usually. No, I'm, I'm just assuming, kind of just logic right now. Just looking at it like sevens are usually quicker, you know, bulkier guys like him. Because there's less people on the field. You want to have a lot of endurance, definitely. A big endurance game for sevens compared to fifteens. That's crazy. He's built more than more, uh, built better or bigger than more. Can't even say it right. He's built bigger than most NFL players. Oh, jeez. They bring a lot of fans, too. Rugby. I know the World Cup definitely does. Nice try there. Ooh. The thing I also like about rugby is it goes both ways, you know. And I know in American football... Usually the higher levels, you only play one side, just offense or defense, rugby, and soccer too. You play both sides, soccer and rugby. Ooh, nice truck. Thing I fear about rugby though, is neck injuries. I don't know. That's the one thing I fear. My fear of getting hit, I played football my whole life, got hit plenty of times. Just neck injuries, that's something I always feared. That's something I don't want to mess with. I see that a couple times in rugby, people deal with neck injuries. You know, you go in with your neck for a lot of uh, plays. Like right there, look at that tackle. Went right in with his head, that's terrible. Oof, geez. That's a good tackle there, he just got trucked. No, I guess it really depends on how smart you play. You just play smart, you don't lead it with your head, then you're not gonna really have to worry much about, you know, breaking your neck or getting a concussion. Don't have to worry about getting questions either, you can just outrun everybody too. Oof, jeez. Like right there though, that hit though, with his head down, that's just what I fear. Now I'm not saying, I don't want to hear no comments like, well if you're scared, don't play rugby. I ain't scared to get hit. I'm just, you know, every rugby player or any athlete is scared of getting those freak accidents. Oh my goodness. Great hit. Oh, again. Oh, he's scoring. Let's see, oh. And Fiji's such a small, like, uh, area. I don't know, like, I see that with a lot of uh, rugby teams in the Olympics in the World Cup. And I saw one today, I forget the name, because of the T. Uh, I forget, but, like, small countries, and they're huge with rugby. That's, that's cool to see. Usually, like, the small islands and stuff like that. Like, New Zealand, I know they're not a small island, but they're still an island. And a smaller country compared to others. Oh, jeez. If I was playing rugby though again, I would definitely just want to do 15s. I, I don't have the endurance to do 7s. Well, these look like 15s right here. But I know in the Olympics it's 7s. So that's why I mentioned it. Rugby's a great sport though. Absolutely. Well, that was Joshua Tuasova. I keep, 
I don't know. I'm scared I'd mispronounce the name, but hopefully I said it right. If I didn't, sorry. Um, but Fiji, 2016 Olympic. That's what I was watching today, like I mentioned earlier. Um, it's crazy, though. Rugby is just a great sport. I really like it. That and boxing are the two sports I really started to get into over the past couple years, past two years, really, with quarantine. Um, I picked them up just to watch. It's definitely a, you know, very cool, very underrated sports, boxing and rugby, but focusing on rugby, definitely a very underrated sport. I like watching the All Blacks team. I like what they do before the game um, and just dominate teams. Uh, I know I wish America, I know they have a rugby team. They're called the Eagles. I'm pretty sure their name is. I mean, they're nowhere as good as the other countries, but, you know, all it takes is developing and time and patience and a lot more focus and money towards the sport. And, you know, maybe America will have a chance one day. Who knows? But hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm out, guys. Peace.